as we reported, even before today's nomination, Senator Kamala Harris already achieved a number of historic milestones. Tonight, her childhood, what shaped her, what set her on this path. ABC's Lindsay Davis on that part of the story. Kamala Harris was born in Oakland, California in October 1964. The daughter of immigrants, her dad from Jamaica, her mother from India. It was her mother who she credits for her determination. Our mother was fierce in her belief that you will be judged based on your actions, not your words. Our mother also, you know, she was all five feet tall. <laughs> um, but if you ever met her, you would probably thought she was seven to ten feet tall. Growing up with her younger sister, Maya, Harris was bused across Berkeley, California for school in the 1960s. She graduated from Howard University and the University of California. And at 55, she's no stranger to making history. She was the first black woman to be elected district attorney in San Francisco and the first woman to serve as California's attorney general. Take this obligation she became a senator in 2016, known for her prosecutorial style at Senate hearings. Today, she's also the first black woman, the first Asian American woman on a presidential ticket. And so let's bring in Lindsay Davis with us tonight. And Lindsay, you've been reporting on this for some time as well. Uh, Senator Kamala Harris was always considered to be uh, near the top of the list of potential picks for vice president uh, for Joe Biden. But that doesn't make today's announcement, this decision, any less historic. Just the headline alone, David, is history making. And for young girls, young black girls in particular, this is of uh, special significance. And, and Senator Harris, when she was running for president, she often credited Shirley Chisholm, who was the first black woman who ran for president, paving the way for her back in 1972. David. All right, Lindsay Davis with us here tonight as well. Lindsay, thank you. President Trump already weighing in, as you saw at the top tonight, saying he was a little surprised given what he says, how uh, nasty he believes she was to Joe Biden on that debate stage. So I want to get right to our chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl, because, John, you heard the president was also asked late today if Kamala Harris makes this a stronger ticket. And here's what he said. Very simply, is she going to help by, uh, former Vice President Biden's chances in November, or is she not hurt? Well, I like Vice President Mike Pence much better. He is solid as a rock. He's been a fantastic vice president. He's done everything you can do. He's respected by every religious group, whether it's evangelical, whether it's any other group, they respect Mike Pence. Uh, he's been a great vice president, and I will take him over Kamala. The president just before we came on the air tonight. And John, what are you hearing from the Trump campaign tonight? We know this fall, Kamala Harris will be on that debate stage up against Vice President Mike Pence. Well, the Trump campaign will make a big deal of the fact that Harris criticized Biden so harshly during the campaign. They'll try to portray her as a far left progressive, but she is a tougher target than many of the others who Biden was considering. In fact, not that long ago, Donald Trump supported Kamala Harris. In 2011 and in 2013, he gave a total of $6,000 to her political campaigns. Ivanka Trump, another $2,000 in 2014. Uh, so not long ago, he actually supported Kamala Harris, David. All right, John Carl, always with the interesting twist. John, thanks to you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.